Hello. Hey, this is uh, Sinkto with uh, my next installment on parts cleaning my uh, AR-15. Um, this here is my AR-15. It's actually got a 22 conversion kit in it, but it's um, it's time for it to be cleaned out. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to clean it. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, I do a basic a basic field trip. The only thing I do really is uh, take the sling off because I don't want it um, filling up with uh, solvent. So I undo the sling, pull that off, and then the actual butt stock I just take the whole thing off since they don't have to clean it. Pull it out, pull the whole thing out. So once that's out, then then this is it. So I take that and I put that just to the side. I don't clean the mags um, all the time. I wait till they're really, really filthy before I clean them up. Uh, this one here is just, just, I'll just wipe it down. But um, as soon as, um, as soon as it's filthy, then, then I'll just, I'll take it in the parts cleaner and wash it up. Uh, same thing with my, uh, my suppressor. My suppressor, it's just a tactical in innovations suppressor. I. Um, I only clean it every, you know, two or three bricks of ammo. So right now it's it don't it's not that it's not that very dirty. So it's it's just I mean I run some solvent through it, but that's about it. The gun I do is I break it down into its uh into its basic parts. Um, take the pins out, and then there it is. All right. I've got um, the 22 conversion kit in it. Pull that out, and you can see how how dirty it is. This is charging handle. You can see how dirty it is on the inside of that. Okay, I put that down. This thing here is the real filthy part. All right. And you can see all the all the powder residue and all that junk in there. All right. So once that's out, I just put my gloves on because I don't. I mean, it's 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 petroleum distillates. It's mineral spirits, but I don't want to smell like mineral spirits. I mean, I don't want to smell like I don't know. It just smells like oil. I turn my pump on, and I got solvent coming out. And what I normally do is just brush, brush, brush in there, brush that, all right, what I'll do is I'll drop the hammer, just clean the disconnector just like that. And that's it. I mean, there's not much more. I mean, you can do a little magwell, a little bit. That part doesn't get too dirty. But the lower is done. Put that to the side. Clean the upper. Um, really, I clean the outside just for, you know, there might be some fingerprints working on it. Um, Clean the dust cover. Clean the inside. Clean the, the, the bore out a little bit. And then normally you, you can run a brush through it from here in and out. Um, I use a boar snake, so I'll, as soon as I bring it back inside, I'll, I'll run a boar snake through it. Open the dust cover back up. Clean this little crevice right there. Clean the outside. Really don't have to clean it because it's really not that dirty. Um, 
clean the bolt. Um, basically, it's just my brush. Now, if this was a regular AR-15, it's the same thing. It's just a bigger, it's just a different bolt. Um, this one here, really, you can see where the, there's carbon staining and everything. I can hold it open and clean it. If it's really stubborn, you can take it apart. Now, taking it apart with gloves, it's a little bit different. Not too bad. That comes off. That's off. And then, <clears throat> that's off. And you can really scrub. Now, sometimes that won't come off. You can just rub it. Um, some people use a Brillo pad. Um, I'm not going to go that. That is, uh, maybe. I didn't. I didn't bring a Brillo pad out with me today. I didn't realize it would be this hard to clean, but that cleans up pretty good. The bolt cleans up pretty good. Clean the face of it. The extractor. The bottom of it. The side. Top. Clean my charging handle. Clean the uh, ramp, speed ramp. And then the suppressor. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run solvent through. I don't want to sit there and dry it. Uh, next time I'll actually take it apart and show you how I clean it. That's a, that's a little bit, that's a little bit weird. Usually it comes right off, but that must be some. Some staining. Let's see if I can find a Brillo pad. I got a little steel wool that I, that I use. That would probably take it right off. Yeah, see, that comes right off. I just don't want to take the protective finish off. Yeah, it comes right off. That's it. Then I take compressed air. Turn it off. I take compressed air. As the day was put together. And the mineral spirits does no damage to plastic. It does no damage to the finish. It, um, the only thing is it, it does take all the oil and everything out so you gotta go back in here and spray some oil in here to just keep things nice and lubricated. Alright, I just, that was uh, super easy. Um, I, I probably spent another minute or so run a, run a barrel uh, a brush on the board, that's it. But that's clean. Alrighty, thank you.